Tarbert was built in fishing. It's probably the most important employer in Tarbert for many years. It's still a very important employer and it's really a big part of the community. Uh, and all the businesses in Tarbert, doesn't matter what it is, depend on fishing at one point. The first thing you notice is the strength of the community and I think that that is um, essentially to do with the fishing. It's part of the tradition, it's part of the heritage of the place. It needs to be here and it has been for how many generations. Having been here for a long time I know of all of the fishing families and you know they have a big influence on the culture of Tarbert. Everybody supports each other, um, a lot of charity work and stuff like that's done and you know everybody's really enthusiastic about anything, they all get behind each other. It puts a lot of money in the community and a lot of jobs in the community. And When I was being brought up, it was a case of business was good if you had hair and scales in the till. It's a good uh, atmosphere in the village as well. You can see that in the shops that are busy, the, the pubs that are busy, the hotels. It all goes hand in hand. Uh, a good fishing industry means a, a vibrant village as well. So we, we fishing community here in Campbelltown, the same as the mall, other the communities in Ayrshire, Tarbert, Kintyre. And the fishing is a big part of the of the community. You know, there are a lot of people work off fishing boats. No engineers, lorry drivers, shops where we get our stores, groceries from, uh, that fuel men, everything. The running costs of fishing boat are phenomenal, and ninety percent of that is all going into the local the local economy. It's providing jobs for however many men. The men are spending the money they make at the fishing in the community. The main issue for fishing at the moment is the pressure we're under from the environmental lobby. We understand that uh, the seabed and the sea itself must be protected, uh, but it's got to be a balance where communities can exist and take a living from the sea uh, and look after the features and the sea at the same time. That can be done. The uh, restrictions on us new with MPAs, which is making it difficult. Areas we fish, we're getting pushed from them areas onto other areas and among the other boats. So it's not really helping anything. It's just basically putting more pressure in other, other areas. We're not wanting to kill everything or catch it, everything that's in it. You know, we're a sensible fishermen. A, a barren waste grounds are kind of well-known term for the Clyde, but it's absolutely far from it. The, the whole place is absolutely alive, really, really alive. To keep young people in the community, we need full-time employment. Uh, young people in a place like this, if they can't get full-time employment, they leave the area and go to Glasgow, the Central Belt, and that's what we don't want. We want these communities to be sustainable and survive. We don't want them to become holiday homes for retired people. When I went to fish in 1977, there was maybe 30, 40 boats in this harbour. You can couldn't your two hands near many there. There are about 10. It's not through any fishing decline. There's plenty, there's more, there's more prawns in it now as it ever were. It'd be good to see some young people coming in. It's, it, it is very difficult for them to get started, but uh, I see a good future for them and uh, they hopefully they, they'll be able to they keep it going. I chose to go to the fishing because I've, that's everything I've done since I was a wee boy and uh, my dad's been fishing all his life and well there's not many young guys into it but it's a good living you know. If it wasn't for the fishing those jobs wouldn't be there and if those young people couldn't stay here or wouldn't stay here then that has a ripple effect on the whole community. It's unlikely that um, a village this size would be able to sustain a school if the fishing um, wasn't here. Closing off areas all over the place uh, to protect different features, it's, it's kind of senseless in a way. What we would be far better doing is finding better ways to manage a fishery. And that's what we've got to work towards, that uh, these communities survive and the uh, environmentalists are happy at the same time. There will always be a product to catch and there will always be a market demanding that catch. As long as there's not too many obstacles, as I say, to interfere in that, I think the fishing industry's got a bright future.